I like this squad. Which means they'll probably die to the first attempt of at the uh, new focus fault fight. Hi! Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. Failed at the uh, Chapter 4 boss last time here in our continued attempts at achieving the Grand Slam. I'm gonna try a much different approach. Bring a little bit of stress healing with the team this time around. I mean, that might help. We'll see. And a decent amount of damage, but probably a lot less than any team that we've brought out recently. We got the Orphan Runaway in the back. So we're going to be uh, hopefully able to deal a lot more burn damage through the course of things here. And we'll, of course, be able to utilize those burn trinkets finally, which... Really, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna, as an aside, we'll, we'll talk about this in a second, but I wanna talk more about the fact that burn damage needs to be increased in frequency. Anyway, we do have the judgment, actually. It's weird that we have all of the burn sources coming along for the ride, pretty much. But uh, otherwise, yeah, most of the damage is gonna be coming from the sharp shot up front. Gonna be trying to utilize that grave shot blast with the fire starter eventually, once, of course, we take her for, to a, a few more hero shrines. And, you know, not to mention unlocking the actual Grape Shot Blast as well. But eventually these guys are going to get a lot better. For now, should be pretty good all the same. Yeah, that aforementioned stress healing probably going to be helping us out a lot. We've got two proper healers, a little self-healing. Really, the damage is the biggest problem here. Fall. Never to grow again. And the burn damage, though, should be pretty good. But I really would like there to be more sources of it. The point of no return welcomes you with open arms. We're in 1.0 and post hotfix 1.0 even, so it does seem the like things are fairly set way. in their ways at the moment, generally speaking. So now I suppose we're free to just wildly speculate about possibilities for including more burn damage in the future. Of course, a new character could certainly allow for that. But I don't know if we need a whole nother, you know, burn fate or burn focused character. That's that's basically just Runaway V2, right? So I think instead, I would much rather just have them shadow drop in some extra sources on various skills. Someone's, I think, Ares, you've been singing this song for a while. A burning star should have burn, which, yeah, of course. Why doesn't it? I completely agree. Obstacle in our path. Oh, that was not the right target. For rumblings of people wanting burn adjacent crusader. Crusader risen from the dead. Harnessing the ancient power of fire. I like it. I ain't got no qualms with that. Holy fire, right, yeah, not just... Not just boring old caveman fire. This is a purifying flame. There, that sounds familiar. Long forgotten. That's That that's that sounds fami a little familiar, Bear. Oh, no, that's, it's a different one. Different purifying flame. Are you shaken? There is so much worse in store. Yeah, rocking the carcass hellion this time. Give me the Fireboy Crusader or Fireboy Highwayman, is that you saying? HM? Isn't that a printer company? It's the HP there. Heart crackles invitingly once again. They could make a good character, I bet, too, though. If you give him a shot. Oh, Houndmaster, right, yeah. The first of many forks in the road. Choose your path and ride out unbowed. That makes way more sense. These are tempting options, either way. Not necessarily for the reward, but actually for the, uh, the zone, or the region bonus, whatever you want to call this, the... Civilization and healing ways both providing pretty outstanding benefits to this region. Here, uh, field hospital, I think, might be better for us if we can save enough relics. We do have quirks that we'd very much like to lock in early here. In fact, 
all four of these I would not mind locking in. I don't think, I think Deadly and Defiant, Defiant first and foremost are the priorities, but yeah, that would be pretty damn nice. Have to clear out the lair for bonus candles, but honestly, the civilization is very tempting too. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to hold off on that for a second. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. Some pretty strong advantages early on today. Hey, puppers. Oh, hey, puppers. Hi, guys. Here's Billy, by the way. Who I was mentioning earlier, she is very excited to be on camera. Billy. How you doing? And there's Taffy. Trying to boop the snoot. Feeling a little jealous, a little unsure about these circumstances. Just hanging out. How do you do the prediction? You just gotta hit that predict button. If you think we're gonna lose a party member. Yes, deaths forever. Place your bare buck bet. Or no, it's gonna be a walk in the park. It's gonna be easy peasy. Gonna be a nice little walk, huh? Yeah. That's a good girl. <laughs> as soon as Taffy saw her boop the camera, she comes up and she's like, but no, 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 that's, that's mine. That's supposed to be my thing. Oh, she's a little cutie. You guys wanna hang out? I'm just gonna hang out for the stream, I guess. It's cool with me. Pick me still open if you guys would like to be selected. Stagecoach name or pet name as well. Let's see what pet we're bringing along. Fair, Never mind. But fairly priced. That's an easy choice. Oh boy, well, if this is the case. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. A little company for the long ride ahead. Very interesting. Red War Machine. Great stagecoach name. We've even got a livery for that, don't we? Yes, we do. Knave of Chalices will be our sh uh, baby shambler for the day. Yep. Uh, chalice Knave. There we go. And still got one left for the bounty hunter, so we'll hold on for that for now. What's the provisioner actually got on offer today? Oh, that's right, the Doom Candle. Oh, God. Yeah, this one is pretty terrifying. Additional traveling flame drain, but the loathing thing. We gotta be real careful. Tier two, I suppose, on the uh, Infernal Flame. With those little notches on the bottom right there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's some scary stuff. Nah, I haven't checked the hero goals yet. Yeah, let's give that a look. Good call. And the Killing Blow on Gentry. Use Cauterize twice. It's easy enough. Land the Killing Blow on Creatures. On Fanatics. Gentry would be coming from the Shroud, right? I think that's going to make me want to go this way. But I am curious to test our luck with these studies. And the Baby Shambler. Oh, Gentry's Feeder as well. Okay, well that's ideal then. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. Seems good, dude. How do you dodge the loathing now that the baby shambler is nerfing scouting? Great question. Great question. Anyway, let's get some food. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. And, uh, let's see here. <laughs> Can I change my prediction? Uh, I like the Gnarly Knuckles. Although it's going to be a lot less valuable for this squad. Maybe just roll with a Minor Sharpness Charm. Wolf's Blood tempting, but I don't think I'm going to go that route. Poetry is a little expensive for a single pip. And no longer need to necessarily buy the laudanum. I would like to hold on to a few relics here, so that seems good. We'll save our whiskey for later. There we are. 
Throw this on you. Actually, I think I'd like you to have that speed, although you are going to act first anyway. That sharp shot speed bonus, man. That's nice. I guess the blight resistance is more important right now, too. Do -do. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. Ty, if you, you know there's a 0% chance of me engaging in that dialogue right now, right? I mean, it, it, whether that's wrong or right, I... <laughs> career suicide. Probably not my place to host that conversation, friend. Uh, let's see. I do like the consecration early on. This would be really complimentary for our carcass hellion. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That's safe. That's safe. I think we're ready. Let's hit it. First region. Decent chance, honestly, at seeing that shambler here, so... Let's just make sure it ends real quick. Right? Yeah. 20 minute run. I think, I think we're all in the mood for that. Don't you think? Don't you think? They said you need a oh, you gotta be so difficult? The That's why she doesn't get more pets. Because she stays just out of arm's length. By design. Look, it's right here. I'm trying my hardest and you're giving me nothing. She's giving me nothing. Oh, Billy wants some, no. Oh, Billy. She's half cat. It feels that way sometimes. All right, so we're begging and pleading with the game not to pile on too much loathing right away. Hitting the harvest child this early is probably ill-advised. Uh, I like candles, and they're all candles. We venture blindly forth. Ooh. At the mercy of the road and its myriad dangers. That's incredibly fortunate early on. Okay, then. We don't necessarily have to concern ourselves with this region goal since it's just some weird stagecoach gear and it involved fighting less road battles. So, yeah, it feels though it's probably not a huge priority. Taffy's definitely getting up there. I think she's probably like 11 or 12 at this point. And then Billy's only like four. She looks a lot older than she is. She's a she's a spry little thing. This is some excellent supplementary content. By which I mean, I should be making this the full screen view. And why am I even still playing the game? A lot more accurate. What paths we got on everybody is the Carcass Hellion up front. A little sharp shot action from the Highwayman. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Seraph Vestal and then the Orphan run away all the way there in the uh, back rank. Big time burn coming out of her. You know why we're here. Oh, I know why you're here. It's for the pond jugular pizza poles. Obviously. Pond's poles. Yeah, that honestly, that's on name alone, that's excellent content. You don't even have to make anything good out of it with a name like Pond's poles. You you get a draw immediately. You just be sitting there holding a pole up. You still at least got my view. Grape shot blast unlocked. Assuming no spectacular failure forthcoming. Which is a bold assumption on my part, to be fair. Chapter 2. Laying low. It's far from a given here, bud. Ah, never mind. Lore! Carried by a pursuing garrison, he took refuge in the fetid canals of the city. Concealment took its toll, and soon he began to see himself in the furtive, scurrying pests that formed an unfortunate portion of his meager diet. Freedom, once so fondly imagined, 
I've become a vortex of degradation. I appreciate the continued bets for full survival, despite the obvious dangers inherent in the run here. Thought that was going to be Grave Shot Blast, but Open Vein's fine too. Certainly better than Wicked Slice for now. All right, mastery point acquired. And there's the loathing. We do start at zero still, which is nice. But, yeah, obviously that's uh, going to get real bad real fast. Watchtowers are going to become a huge priority for us here. This is clearly not a uh, not an ideal build composition. God, that would be outstanding. Knitted blanket for the runaway. I really hope we come across this again when we've got the trinkets for it. This is making me seriously regret purchasing the sharpness charm. Oh, well. Curing Kappa, that'd be outstanding too. My god. Brilliant Brew is actually pretty damn good for us already. I think I'll grab that. I, uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm simply... Talk about inexcusable. Yeah, this was from a previous build. A previous run. In which we had the Plague Doctor, who does Blight damage. Now, unfortunately, what I've done is simply waste bobbles a second time. Just decided to waste them by purchasing an item I can't use. In fact, the only value I would get out of that, if you can call it that, would be a debuff. Oops. Shouldn't have done, shouldn't have done that. All right. Well, that's pretty nice. Your collection can wait. Press onward. Yeah, I got a cocktail out of it. Right, yeah. If they're diseased, they lose move resist. That looked way too good to pass problem. up. Is it not? It does seem necessary to go lair. We might get the oblivion thing still here. There's danger on this path. We gotta go lair to clear out the uh, the loathing. That seems like the only thing we can do. That's not good. Well, let's make sure we got our combat items equipped, I guess. Yikes. Game's too easy anyway. Yeah, clearly we needed to give ourselves plenty more disadvantages. Manor, do you hear the child's cries? I have enjoyed him deleting enemies in the beginning of these fights. That's what I was hoping he would be getting into early on, and so far, so good. All right, all kinds of block up front. Let's let's do a consecration of light here. Honestly, I probably should have upgraded that first. It's going to be pretty effective for our highwayman, and she's going to have plenty of block up front anyway, without needing the consecration to boot. Ooh, okay, so I guess there's an argument for including Duelist Advance in the mix. Want to make sure he's got an option to get up uh, to the second rank at least again. That's probably better than Open Vein anyway. Or Tracking Shot, honestly. Both are pretty uh, dumpable in my mind. Although if I do, if I've got tracking shot and hearth light, and I don't use either one, what am I, what am I doing? Ideally, using more valuable stuff, but it, it does seem as though I ought to give myself at least one way to get through stealth and dodge, especially if we end up going up against the librarian at some point. That's a lot of regen. Yeah, 
Yeah, without him being in the uh, in the second rank, it certainly seems like our damage is lacking. But I was anticipating that. Thankfully, we're doing extremely well in other ways. In fact, that's giving me a lot of encouragement for this team. A righteous action. Ooh, crust showdown for our first Steady pizza yourself. poll. Thin and stuffed leading the way by a mile. As expected. Not that I'm just continually choosing to do zero damage. I'm not a big deep dish fan. A petty hindrance. I don't love it. It's just a little too much. Chicago style specifically. Yeah, no, that's... You're making lasagna at that point. Quit lying to yourself. I got to eat it, don't get me wrong. Just that if I'm having a pizza, I've got a certain expectation in my mind, I guess, for the, the mouth and taste experience that I'm going to get. It's more casserole, isn't it? Yeah, that's honestly more accurate. And when I have that, I'm not really matching up those expectations with reality. Imagine saying no to a fuck ton of melted cheese. I've gone on record as being a little anti-cheese. Not in general, but in that amount and in that concentration. Yeah, like, I like cheese. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying. There's definitely such thing as too much cheese. It happens a lot. I was complaining about too much cheese last stream. I, I went at length about it. And I'll die on this hill. If you can... Like... If the, if the orange of the cheese is that of Cheetos... First of all, I already think there's a problem. I already think we've encountered an issue. And then, more to the point, if, if that orange cheese is globbed up, and that's the only way to describe it accurately, globbed up. Ew. I'm sorry, but ew. I icky. Y yuck. Extremely unappetizing. Not a big cheddar guy. Again, I'll, again, I'll eat it. Oh, in fact, I probably won't, like, sometimes. Okay, look. I understand I'm not making any friends here, first of all. But if... That type of cheese were to be in a breakfast burrito that I purchased, for example. I'm not above getting in there with a couple of fingers and removing that glob from my dish. Calling a burrito a dish. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I should not fight this boss. This is a terrible idea. Garbage loot. Not worth at all. Everything screams at me to hit that escape button, but I know that if I do that, the loathing gets worse. can't do it. I can't do it. This is this is, this is one of those ones. Recognize your disadvantage and accept it. This is one of those times where I simply must accept the inevitability of defeat. And in this case, I suppose all I'm really doing is is extending that to later. But 
Yeah, there was no way we were going to take that down. What quirks did you get? Nervous. Nervous. Need freak. Doomsayer. That's pretty bad. Boy, our stress is not great either. Hey, Lumpa. I've definitely made myself want some pizza, too. With three different kinds of cheese on it. I'm allowed to be a hypocrite. Right, Billy? I'm the streamer. I never have to be consistent with anything. Logic, opinions, performance. It's a freaking mystery. Who knows what's going to happen today, huh? I don't. I have no idea. This is all pretty new to me. What are you talking to these computers for? Why aren't you playing with me? We should be playing. We should be we should be playing right now, don't you think? Oh, Taffy thinks so too. D excuse me, that's my dad. I don't know if you knew that. Puppy dogs. Hmm. Let's take the bleed. He said hilariously. Knowing full well Lethality writ large. there was no bleed to be had. Usas showdown time. Oh boy. Ooh, okay, so we get our first chance at uh, utilizing resilient here. Certainly hoping we get lucky. Come on. All right, all right. Fair enough. At least help to uh, elongate the process elsewhere, which has sort of been our MO today. I really need to get, to get Duelist Advance in the mix here. Being a silly bear. What are your thoughts on brie and pear on a burger? This is absolutely the first time I've ever considered it in my life. Pear on a burger. I'm, I'm transfixed on that. This is like inescapably so. Yeah, that's that's something I feel I gotta give a shot, but I can't imagine it would be good. Coward, fitting. Well, stress is getting healed. I'd try it. I love Bree. Yeah, I don't think the Bree is the problem. Fruit of any kind trying to think of what else fruit-wise I've experienced on a burger. Oh, mixing cheese and cheese and fruit. Yeah, no, that, again, that's not... That's not the point of contention for me. It's the... It's the put-on-the-burger thing that is wilding me out. The past is gone. Let it die. Also, I'm not a huge burger eater. Now, normal size burgers, let me add them. Ha 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 ha, that's a good one, Barry. Look at you go with your comedy jokes. Pineapple with teriyaki? I've had that. Take up these goods and imbue them with purpose. Everybody loves slapjacks. So now there's a... There's at least one place we can all agree, right? You may have preferences beyond that for your 
breakfast, but... You still love flapjacks, don't you? I was gonna be excited about this cache, but the uh, torchlight... Not looking role. great. Put it to good use. I suppose this is still pretty good for us, and hey, if we can find ourselves a Blight character, we're gonna be in business, dude. Looking real good in that regard. All right, well. Hopefully, yep, no loathing there at least. We do get to keep the block tokens for the rampart, but this is going to be an ambush. I would be shocked. And I'm, I'm holding out hope that that'll be the case. We are at zero torchlight now. A proper infernal flame run. We've reached the cheese portion of the pizza showdown, and also somehow Oblivion's Rampart ambush free. I don't know if those things are mutually exclusive, but apparently not. All right. Do you like take aim to start? It we'll start with here. Hopefully, clear a block elsewhere. Oh, that'll work. Or no, it won't. I'm dumb. It's not how that works. This is probably worth it, though. Beautiful. I don't think ambush occurs in Act 1. Really? That's news to me. I think they meant Region 1, which somehow I interpreted it as Region 1. But if you meant Act 1, then no, we're doing Act 3, so then it wouldn't apply at all. Even, even if it is Region 1, either way, I would be surprised by that. Ah, oh boy. Let's see. I'm gonna clear your block plus two, don't I? So I might as well get started. Oh, that double blind up front? What the freaking heck? That sucks. Oh boy, this is uh, a little ugly to start off with. DOT clearly not doing a lot. Stress situation looking worse. Not in love with our circumstances. Most likely not going to be able to, uh, to take care of her stress very effectively either. That'll help a little bit. I suppose we just need to, well, first of all, I should do this. I suppose revelry is the play. Gonna get plenty of block out of that. Forgotten to equip my duelist advance again. What else is new? BOT up front at least, okay, and then I do you think I should probably try to Victory supposes strategy. get started on this Press guy. On. Yet another blind in the back, my god. <laughs> you know it, Shadow. Um ah, F it. An opportunity. Wandered. F it, dude. There we go. Fair optimal on the altar. And yell at him. And the weaken. Okay. That's pretty helpful, actually. Yet another taunt, is it? Cauterize not necessary yet. The fiend's strength dwindled. Altar finally gone. Yeah, this is, uh, worryingly slow. This is kind of what I was getting at in the explanation of our composition initially. However, what is it, then, that gazes back so intently from the abyss? we had mentioned that although this team is lacking damage, they're doing pretty well in basically other every other department. 
They're going to get some pretty significant upgrades soon as well. It's really not awful. But it is very, very slow. Carcass is doing good, though. Haven't even had to cauterize yet, even though we've had that option. Of course, she's been stress healing fairly effectively here, too. Speaking of which, going to need a little more here. I don't think we even need to cauterize, although it would be a lot safer. Yeah, we're going to need some... Uh, well, we need to unlock the Grape Shot Blast, and then we're just going to need some upgrades for him at some point as well. Some masters, or mastery points. Deliberate and methodical appliance. Some master's degrees, you know, that would be pretty helpful for him, too. God damn, dude, would you relax? Carcass healing her own stress pretty reliably as well. Digging that. All right, certainly don't want to allow for the meltdown here. As he is not enjoying a bonus resolute chance. See how well the squad can handle a single target. That'll help. Eh, I mean, okay, so let's do this. All right, the dodge plus, I guess, is reason enough to have it in the mix. And she is triple winded and still dealing that kind of damage. That's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. Big burn to get her down to death's door, hopefully. There we go. Weakened and blinded with the dodge plus. There we go. One more revelry possibly here as well. I don't believe there is a way to remove the locked in neg or uh, locked in positive quirks, Jag, unfortunately. An interminable conflict. In fact, I seem to remember us getting into a situation where I was looking to do that. This wound, at least, has been tended to. Yeah, not, not a way to do it as far as I'm aware. Can you unlock them? Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. That was going to be news to me, too. You can't unlock them in the hospital, I don't think. I got the hero goal real fast. We get a greater hail draft here for our Hellion. That's actually pretty outstanding. I'm going to go ahead and give this to you as well. Lots more HP this time, at least. Obviously, the loathing thing is unfortunate, but I don't have to deal with it. those disadvantages this time you, around. A strong drink. And finally, rest. You have the space here. I'm just going to equip these to make sure we've got room. There we go. Might be able to fix up these relationships here, hoping to get a whiskey barrel or something. See if we get lucky. The familiar hearth crackles invitingly once again. Stiff knees, flawed release. Not great. Apparently did get or did get the region goal, so that's cool. Pretty awful negative quirks. Every road a winding torment. Every turn bent on our destruction. I do still think we go sluice. Unmapped. Unexplored. A risky proposition. Get our flapjacks going. Obviously the telescope isn't going to do us much good. Experimentation. Your academic instincts serve you well. Yeah, we got the bounty hunter this time. Bunch of playing cards. I suppose I wouldn't mind that. Oh, carriage lamps are like borderline necessary here, dude. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. That's a pretty big find. 33% chance to reduce or to uh, fully resist the loathing. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. We've got plenty of food here, thankfully. So we can probably go ahead and get a few Something of these. To ease the rigors of the road. Amorous Ballads is pretty nice as well. You found your bear plush, Joe. That's great news. He was just playing hide and seek. He's really good at it, as you can tell. Tactical Thinker unlocked. That's pretty great. 
really good effect from the playing cards here, too. Another tactical thinker. Wow. That's outstanding. Let's use the poetry here. Another plus one, and then whiskey bottle for the stress relief, and the plus six! Holy shit. That'll help. Okay. Uh, no. Wow, plus nine with two items. They went from unfriendly to friendly. Just like that. That's outstanding. All right, let's see. Can we use Amorous Ballads here? We sure freaking can, dude. Okay. That is enormously helpful. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. I'm getting real greedy now. Games treat me well. Do we have... Oh, we have more scouting. Oh, that's not going to be great for the sluice, obviously. What is Tactical Thinker? It adds plus five crit chance and a 15% chance to generate a dodge plus token on round start, which is just as good as it sounds. Hellion needs work with everybody. Let's do this. And then maybe just do that again. And then maybe to just do that a third time. Cool. And then a little whiskey? Excellent. That's a lot better. Fix you two up. And... Wow. Okay. That all looks really good now. Save the other whiskey flask for a little later. I think we'll probably still put the Hellion on the bench. Well, maybe run away. Yeah, that's probably best. Maybe even Highwayman? Yeah, let's do that. There is no man behind the hunter's mask. Only a terrible thought. Void sight and vicious. Void sight actually outstanding. That's really, really good. <laughs> Fully scouts oblivion tears. Yay. Thank you. And let's do a fresh pick me here, actually. Open for business. Twitch subs have ten times the likelihood because I'm a monster. Finish him in there and probably use the come hither too. See who our bounty hunter is going to be today. Get him some food. Mastery time. One learns quickly when survival demands it. Consecration of light. And I think we go with the revelry here. Gotta manage that stress a little more effectively. Actually. Oh, right, yeah. I already locked it in. Yeah, I just realized the uh, the carcass has actually been doing a pretty damn good job of stress healing her by itself. But additional death door resistance, I guess, is pretty good too. I'll pretend that's worth it. Iron Fay. That's a great name for a bounty hunter. Welcome into the team. Let's knock out this sluice. And pray that we can avoid those tears. No positive relationship here. That's all right. See if we can maintain those relationships as well. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country. Wow, okay, that sucks. Boy, 
Yeah, the Oblivion Terror Scouting, again, not gonna matter, Bear. You don't have a map. Being real dumb today. They don't want to fight, but they're gonna have to get over that. Knock him out the box, Luke. So, mostly, was considering replacing either the Vestal or the Runaway there. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. As, of course, Highwayman represents the majority of our damage available. Felt as though I didn't want to necessarily deal with the, uh... Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find a way, but no. It's yet another big mistake. It's yet another mistake I made in that I probably should have brought the, the Bounty Hunter and the Highwayman to have enough damage to deal with the sluice. But I didn't. Because I didn't think about it long enough. But that's okay. We're still going to get through the sluice pretty quickly. And I'll forget that I even made that mistake in a few moments. Hell, we might not even be considering it a mistake by the end of the run. But I suppose there's no real way of knowing that. So why not just pretend? Bafflement. And vexation. We can all just make believe that there was some arbitrary reason why the highwayman needed to stay on the bench this time. Simply inescapable that he remain firmly and safely back at the previous inn awaiting our return. Maybe he was... In a bad mood. All problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. Maybe he was gonna pick on everybody through the course of this entire region. And we just stopped bullying. We did it. We stopped it, guys. Good job. I knew we could. I knew we had it in us. All right, not bad. Not bad. Pretty damn good, actually. Random ally on turn start, add one positive token. I guess actually the runaway could have that, or bounty hunter even. And the protector it to her. Honestly, probably not even worth it. I'd rather not lose the damage that way. He had urgent diarrhea. How do they... How do they get to the next inn? They just teleport there. Are they walking alongside... Are they just, like, walking ten feet behind us the whole time? A fortune in memories. Long forgotten. Rotten Tomato actually pretty damn good for us with this build. Your coach is laden. Huh. You can carry no more. Okay. Plus 30% damage on our carcass. That makes me want to equip Breakthrough. Although, of course, that will put her in rank one. Yeah. Man, that still makes me not want to use Breakthrough. That's just how bad Breakthrough is. I mean, I guess if I'm going to be rank one, I might as well just bleed out. My head cannon is they're just sleeping in the coach. I like that too. That's pretty good. Oh man, the hint of home. All that matters is the flickering torch you bear. I don't think this is good enough, man. 
I want to try it, but I really think I'd prefer to have Hint of Home equipped right now. Or even Hag's Horde. Let's give her a little more speed here, too, actually. Yay, Flapjacks. Way too much random stagecoach shit, too. We don't need that since we've got our baby shambler. Just haven't found any trinkets to utilize with it yet. Okay. Study time? Shambler? An academic study. Full of the forbidden and the forgotten. Not this time. Might be fragments. Cosmicator, nice. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Ethereal dust, pretty useful for our team. Vestal obviously will be able to reset her consecrations that way, so that's not bad. Your uh, collection can use wait. that. Press onward. Give me a second, Wayne. Jeez. Just organizing. I've avoided the rifts through here, luckily. Makes me happy. But they are disagreeing. And that is not helping at all. Very nice. Yeah, I definitely would have done a little better with the bounty hunter here, but oh well. Stone time. And I guess we use Breakthrough, which, no, that's that's still not the play. Still not the god dang play. That definitely is. The carcass has more or less negated the enemy's effectiveness from the first moment of the run, she has soaked up everything. So that has been very, very good. We just now need to continue to allow that to happen and also just improve our damage elsewhere. That's, that's going to be hard. It's going to take a while, and it's going to take a concentrated effort to get more mastery points and make that happen. But at least there is that, and that is very, very good. The burn is also going pretty well. The burn has been impressive. And that's not even upgraded yet, so that's, that's going to get pretty nice. I just do wish, I mean, there was a butt coming that entire time. You could feel it. I just do wish we had some other option right now. Although, to be honest, triple winded wicked hack on a combo target is still pretty good. That's still a lot of damage. Get over here. There's the two turn at least, and we can make it a three. A I mean a one. That's when you count the other way, that's that's how that works. Need some tokens, pal. There's a way to get rid of the winded tokens, yeah. In fact, several. One of which would be very easy if we were to just upgrade toe to toe, but. Greater threat oh, nice. to the those who dare. Ooh, and pig sticker. Plus 10% crit chance if target has combo. That ain't bad. That low flame is... The loathing whisper. Fairly likely, in fact. Gain stealth on crit. Sure. Because that stuff, I forgot that's actually not good for her either. In fact, let's just get rid of that. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's just being real silly. That's the sluice complete. Apparently. Cool. Alright, thanks, bounty hunter. 
And the whiskey barrel. How fitting. A little celebration at the end of the sluice. Rest tonight under the mountain's unblinking gaze. I think goes sprawl. That could be helpful. Nice. Okay. So, clearly do not need this apples and cheese anymore. Pop the whiskey barrel. Well, we might get the songbook of touching dirges first. We'll st stick with the correct order here. Nearing max affinity, my god. Every road a winding torment. Mm. Every turn bent on our destruction. Avoid the hospital. All right. The shrouded coast, isolated and drowning in amphibious degeneracy. We have a shroud almanac, which I'm pretty happy about. Reconfigure. Meet each challenge on its own terms. Uh, I want to keep these things for now. Ooh, look, we get discounted repairs. Repaired and refurbished. Nice. Ready for the leagues ahead. All right. No songbook of touching dirges. We do have meditative totems here. I should probably get those. Try to get rid of flawed release. All right, yeah. Yeah, let's give him some pancakes. There we go. I guess whiskey barrel could be used now. God, that thing is outrageously good. Plus six. God damn. There's another one. Do not need the knuckles. Browsing recorder is worth it. I suppose this is actually better than that, isn't it? Okay. Um, let's see. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Give this a shot. That is awesome. Yay. Plus 5% crit chance on the Hellion. And then the pipe weed, I believe we need to use on those two. I'll take that. And then we're not going to gamble on them anymore. Let's see if we can get Runaway Highwayman or Runaway Hellion somewhere better. Oh, never mind, right? Yeah, she won't do that. Mm, Hellion Highwayman? Okay. Oh, we do have another pipe weed. Apparently got the Holy Hymnal, too. Wow, that's awesome. That's really, really good, actually. Holy shit, that's good. Especially with the Ethereal Dust, we're going to have plus 25% max HP on basically the entire party for the final fights. Or for the final fights. Fight, singular. Kind of want to take a chance on the Highwayman Vestal here. I think it's worth it. All right, we had the pipe weed. Had the pipe weed backup plan. That does mean minus two speed for those guys, sadly. Oh, we have whiskey we could still buy as well. Stimulating poultices, too. Man, flapjacks are awesome. Saves you so many relics. I think I still want to buy these. They're just way too good. Guaranteed pip. One learns quickly when survival demands it. All right, let's try not to waste the rest of our mastery points here, buddy. Firefly definitely feels like a great idea. Point blank would be strong as well. Hey, let's finally remember to equip Duelist Advance, huh? Speaking of wasting upgrades. Tauntaun stun from the Yop is not a terrible idea. If the point blank doesn't kill it, we can at least stun it. Adds two weakened tokens. You know what? Do it. 
Absolutely. Looks good to me. I don't think we need that much anti-venom or that. But I do think it's shroud time. I think we're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Weakening curse on steroids. Ironically, yeah. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Outstanding. Yop will now add a dodge plus to our freaking highwayman. Wow, that's good. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Hand of light will stress heal. Wicked hack will stress heal. That's pretty awesome. Sanctuary and run and hide. Yikes. Oh, well. New prediction time. Is it Leviathan time? Yeah, I don't know. This team, I think they'll have a rough go of it. Propriety floats listless on the tide. Brined <laughs> in noxious degradation. Oh, God, the Shambler scouting. We've yet to even get a single Shambler trinket here. Or, uh, what the heck are those called? I want to say indelible, but I'm pretty sure those are the golden ones. We do have to avoid the hospital here as well, so don't go on to the right side. I think I'll hang a left. Looking for killing blows on fanatics and creatures for the Hellion and Vestal, respectively. Stained, that's, I think that's it. Or I think either one, actually. I think the stained one might be the Dark Impulse, and then the other side is the Unforgettable Trinkets. We can still do... We have one region after this to get the lair, right? That is an extremely convenient watchtower. Oh my god, and the back-to-back -back shrines. Holy cow, that is awesome. Thank you, game. Ooh, I have, I have found my path. Looking good. Ooh, some linen, too. And slime mold? Say it ain't so. R really, please say it. I don't, I don't want that. I do want the wine. That I'm happy to take. Thank you very much. In this world, mm -hmm. wealth is worthless without purpose. Don't worry, runaway. You'll, you'll thank us later. I'll be pleased we made that choice. All right, so... Repair fight is avoidable. And I think we're going to get the loathing reduced from this re resistance encounter. So it should be right on the cusp once we get past this shrine here. I'll take the daze. That's pretty nice. Mushrooms are legit the worst food in existence. I, I don't think you're going to get a lot of support on that one. I think you might be uh, alone in that opinion. A, I'm pretty sure we can do worse. And B, mushrooms aren't bad. I used to be, I wouldn't say anti-mushroom, but I, I certainly was not pro-mushroom. Elise has educated me. I've gotten past my my texture freak issue with it and recognize that they are, in fact, pretty tasty every now and then. Especially in... or mixed well with something good. Let us hope to finish this quickly. It's among the worst food textures. I, I'll, I'll give you that. It's an upsetting food texture. But at least it's got the flavor going for it. Lethality writ large. Like, if you're gonna feel disgusting, you should at least taste good. And thankfully, the mushroom A steady subtraction. An has decided to oblige result. in that regard.
Gotta have a good mouth feel, man. Do, 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 do. Well, we're actually glad to have breakthrough. Don't have the bonus damage from it, but the, the freaking stress healing alone from that was pretty nice. Okay, counterize time. Even with some more Dane folks, this is going pretty good. I think the relationships are actually having an enormous impact for us here. Hey, speaking of which, big old burn from that, hell yeah. taught is a lesson learned boy she does not like the runaway Let's see if I can get one more stress heal out of this I wish I had the demons pull here that'd be outstanding yeah doom candle this time this time Kevin it's been rough it really is just the loathing with that thing isn't it but that that alone the, that alone scavenge what you can is pretty significant and be off once more i guess additional traveling flame drain too is not negligible but when compared to the loathing effect is kind of forgettable you got to take a lot of fights yeah definitely Which, thankfully the game is affording us that opportunity here we are exposed. We'll have the loathing all the way down. But it is going to get back up to near max right away after that. It kind of sucks. Winded? Oh, no. I've never seen that before. I'm going to do that weirdly here to not take a hit to the relationships, but that's... Unfortunate, obviously. It's not really going to make a big difference. I, I know it's weakened on her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's weird that that's the case. Definitely makes sense that it's a result of weaken. Okay, that'll be fine, I guess. <laughs> Run and hide? Sure. Just for fun. And then let's make that uh, point blank more than likely take out this guy as well. I can break through here. I'm all right with that. I'm kind of starting to like that, actually. Especially considering the, uh, the point blank all of a sudden became a lot less appealing. Unless this lands. Never mind, we're good. Bye bye. It's for the knockback. It's the bye bye. Oh, very glad we have Duelist now. Alright, let's go with the regen. Which I will definitely be upgrading at some point as well. Stress heal, hallelujah. Yeah, let's just finish him. Get you gone. I'm very pleased with how little the uh, the shuffle seems to be impacting this team. I thought that would be a lot more detrimental to us. Lethality writ large. I think now that we've got the breakthrough and the duelist advance in the mix, it really doesn't matter at all, which is pretty sick. Man, that's good. That's good? What the hell? No way. No, you're lying, Bear. I don't believe you. He's not genuinely suggesting that Breakthrough is a usable skill. You're just being silly, right? Another impediment cleared with impunity. Holy shit! Yeah, we're being real silly. Being real silly out here today. Eh... I don't think that's the way to go. You keep it. 
the loathing whispers. All right, so we will be at two. I have to go that way by the end of it, unfortunately. Oh, boy. I don't think we can avoid it. I would have to go lair. But that would be a repair fight. Yikes. Do we go left here? I think we have to go left here to avoid the loathing. We have to give up a hero shrine, unfortunately. We need torchlight, too. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. And I really don't want to fight these resistance encounters either, but I guess that's just more mastery chances, so... Should be okay with that. Desperate to survive the rising tides, the fisherfolk of the coastal provinces resorted to a debased worship of the sea. I can, I can probably handle this. This, this seems manageable. The back line is weirdly vulnerable to this composition. I don't know why I'm saying weirdly. I should have expected that, actually. Lair, I believe, will only reduce loathing if you complete it. Someone can please correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think even if you go through the first two waves, it won't reduce the loathing. Let's do this. One down. Close enough. Gotta complete it, yeah, okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess that's not actually gonna do it, is it? That'll do it. Miscellaneous toppings for the pizza showdown. I'm going to throw in a vote for jalapenos. Been very pro-jalapeno lately. I found that basically anything I add them to, they improve. I'm very glad you leave the music on. I can't get enough of it. People turn the music off? Anybody that plays this game and turns the music off should... Should, should be shot into the sun. I wanted to make that more and more dramatic with every instance of wanting to say it. I think I landed on the right spot. Shot into the sun. Yeah, that's that seems fair. Excellent work. Bear, why did you just shoot me into the sun? I, you deserved it. you fall into that category. I think you knew that. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Here's that mastery point. What if I turn the music off so I can play while watching you stream without getting noise pollution from double music? The insinuation that it could possibly be considered noise pollution regardless of frequency or repetition Yes, I am taking it that far. How dare you? You should have that version playing. You should have the soundtrack open on Spotify. And I should turn this all the way up again. The only acceptable version we have landed upon thusly. I'm going to turn that back down. An elementary problem, is it not? Finally, grape shot blast time. Look ahead. A place to reflect, remember, and reconcile. The most random thing I've had on pizza in a pizzeria was cloudberry jam on reindeer pizza. You can't say those things as though they're common terms. Help me out. Give me a little breakdown. What the heck is Cloudberry Jam? That sounds like fantasy shit. Eh, yeah, I keep doing that. Reindeer pizza, I'm trying to figure out. 
What on earth that could be? Cloudberry Jam. I'm just fucking... You, you got me straight up confused there, friend. Cloudberries are a thing? What the heck is that? Cloudberry. A species of flowering plant of the rose family Ros Rosicae? Native to cool temperate regions, alpine and arctic tundra. Neat. From the Cloudberry Kingdom, right. That's why it sounds like that. This wound at least has been tended We to literally played a game called Cloudberry Kingdom. I remember that now. So those are berries from Cloudberry Kingdom. Okay, now, now it's all clear. Hey, Alina. I can't, I can't say I do, Big. I have been to Cloudberry Kingdom many times. We, we were competing with that game. Goodness, this is a throwback. I remember spending hours with that because there was like a huge prize if you got the furthest in the game. And it was just like a very simple platformer that I thought that I was pretty good at. So I decided to actually commit the effort to attempting to get pretty far. Lo and behold, I had only uh, been comparing myself to my friends, and then when it became apparent that I was nowhere close to the top level of competition, obviously I then gave up, but for a little while there, I genuinely believed I had a shot. Hey, look, he used his upgraded Rockus Revelry a single time. Justified. Reindeer pizza refers to the Donner Party, a euphemism for eating humans. I knew there was something about that person. And apparently the thing that I knew was that they were a cannibal. Well. Sometimes you press further and it turns out you're talking about cannibalism. It's just the way she goes. Uh, I don't think I need that. Grape shot time. About freaking time. Chapter three, one last job. Hey, I'm Finn, what you want? Is that a, f uh, a, a thing of the Finns? He was sick and starving. I'm learning a lot today. And in desperation, offered his expertise to an unscrupulous malefactor. Shackled once more to an unsavory task by an advance of gold. Whoa, whoa. He lined his belly, girded himself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And prepared for one final I can hear the garage door opening, and it's very upsetting. Whoa, whoa. Still no grape shot blast. I could have sworn that was the next skill. Or at least visually represented as such. On the stagecoach screen. Well, shit. Oh, well. I might want to have this, actually. I'm not using tracking shot at all. Let's give that a go. This hoarder might actually be pretty good for us, too. Decent amount of relics and baubles. Lost souls of a dying world. Empty of hope. And humanity. Do, 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 do.
I'm sorry, my brain is breaking from the amount of, like, incredibly unique. We're back. I hope. <laughs> He's just turning the cheats on. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, I have no idea where that thought was left. My unpopular opinion got you a 30 second ban. Yeah, the the platform apparently was making an attempt to prevent me from talking about that a promising development but i want to so i'm going to anyway because it blows my mind that 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 is something someone thinks is going to get a positive response first time chatter or at least the first time i've seen them hey how you doing i've added you on discord accept me No, no, thank you. Oh, that's okay. Your brain broke in the stream stop. That checks out, I guess. Hmm, consecration. I'm just this. This has now become the point where I, you know, the inevitability of a second connection drop is looming so this is this is bare for the next five minutes are we good are we good we're live we're still live okay what about now yeah okay good hey i added you on farmers only please accept now that as a first time chat is applause worthy I'll leave, I'll give you an IRL bear clap. Well done. Steady yourself. That's raising the bar, honestly. That's We're gonna we're gonna be expecting a lot now. Malaise. Measured and steady. Join my Farmville friends list. Anybody play Farmville? Oh, okay, I, I gotta know how many of y'all played Farmville. If you spent more than a single session in Farmville, if you only played it once, I won't lump you into this group. But if you logged into Farmville, played some, and then logged in again a second separate time. The past is gone. Let it die. No judgment. Even though it certainly sounds like I'm setting you up for some judgment and I'm going to have everybody go, ha ha, look at the nerds. That's like, hey, that's like 25% of the content around here. And then B, it's, that's fine. You know, there's worse things you could have spent your time on in 2012. From the sunken temple off the wind-whipped coast. It emanates an antediluvian power. You could have been like me. You could have been playing League of Legends. That's much more shameful. And if you are that... In this world, I'm sorry. Wealth is worthless without purpose. But you know it. You already knew before I even brought it up. I'm still playing League. Do you feel good about it? Do you wish that you were still playing League? Or do you want to stop? <laughs> and do you need help? <laughs> um, I guess we can just go right. Brace up. There is danger on this path. No, sir, but such is life. Yeah, I think, you know, I appreciate the honesty. Like, are you having fun? Is it a fun game for you? With friends, it's a lot better. I'll give you that. But his prices remain fixed. If you got a buddy or two you're playing some league with, that's 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 a much different experience. But if you're queuing up those solo runs, you're not, you're not having a good time, are you? Are you? If so, I'm impressed. I am I am incredibly impressed with your ability to sort through the shit and find the diamonds. 
Boy, that profane scroll would be outstanding here, man. Three bobbles short. That stinks. Oh, wait. This isn't the one I was thinking of, but I think this is. That's the one. That's the one I was thinking of. Icon of the Light would be fucking phenomenal here, but yeah. Wah, wah. That stinks. Uh, no need for any of those guys. Pristine lore is actually pretty goddamn good for our, uh, for our Hellion. But we're already pretty happy with her trinkets. I don't think I really need to get anything from this guy besides the uh, playing cards. Maybe the whiskey as well. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. I would very much like to avoid the meltdown here, but keep in mind she does have that resolute bonus. I'm ascetic. So it's not all bad. Plenty of food for the remainder of the run. Decent combat items. Let's do it. I tried to play League, but I'm too old and slow for it, getting destroyed by today's youth. I'm pretty sure if I tried to play today, I would get obliterated. Yeah. If I tried to play today at, like, the level... Well, I mean, obviously, if I tried to play at the level I was playing, I would be smoked. I have played in years, but... I think even if you gave me a little bit of time to warm back up... I don't think I'm hanging anymore, man. Is ARAM League, though, all random, all middle? If you're going to play League, that's I think that's the ideal way to do it. Because that's at least, like, inherently zany. There's little expectation for success when you have so little control over what's actually happening. But that certainly doesn't stop some folks. I feel like resolute chance buffs are placebos and don't actually do anything. You're probably right. I've gotten by on a placebo before. I'll do it again. Looking fairly likely that we're going to be running into a meltdown here. Excellent work. Ooh, that's nice. The immobilize actually pretty awesome for us there too. Oh, stun! Double resist. That's unfortunate. We get a strength token on our highwayman, though, although it is unfortunately coming possibly after her action, in fact, is. What am I doing that? No, I don't want that. Okay. 30% crit chance. My god. Hmm. I think we still do this. I think we're just gonna have to accept the exaltation here. That helps too. Oh no, wait. She's a turn behind, that's right. And we can also Bravo. knock her back again. That's pretty good. Crit, huh? We'll take some bleed. A master stroke. Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to take her out prior to the worship. Just watch your fight against the body of work on YouTube. Never seen such tense, dark as dungeon. That was so great, man. That final boss fight, especially having done it that way for the first encounter with it, that made me so happy. I, I very excitedly emailed Chris, who was kind enough to congratulate me on my first W after the facts. I shouted at him in all caps. That's how you make a goddamn final boss. And please praise the whole team on my behalf, because I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. That is a worship, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Well, at least he keeps the debuffs. Mama did it. Yeah, definitely that energy. 
cockles. Thank you for the 40 months. Okay, welcome back into the bear hall, bear hall, bear, bear hall, bear, bear, bear. Five stress. That's fun. Bear hugs, please. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate it. Five stress healed. And he's dead. Sweet. Miskatonic Memorialist. That's a great name. It's satisfying coming out of the mouth. A breakthrough. Welcome, Raiders. Good to have you. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. One more revelry. I, th I think we can stall for that. He doesn't want to get stunned, but there's a little stress healing there already. No blind that time. Let's just regen. Really want to stall for the revelry. Repost likely to bring in a death door anyway. No, we're not. Revelry even better. Nice. All right, good stuff. Well, not better, but I'll lie. I'll lie to myself. I'm good at that. Yeah, another big time stress heal there, actually. Hell yeah. My goodness, feeling way better all of a sudden. Okay. Will overcome even the greatest of threats. Act five music plus intro plus so many small details. He was the best last boss in recent history. Agreed. Jealous Whisper, pretty damn good for our Highwayman, actually. With the amount of point blank and duelist advance we've been doing here, that is not bad at all. Gonna slap that on that sucker right away. I don't think I use Dead Ringer here. Nice. Yeah, I don't need the impulse, just get that going. That's awesome. And this next in, I think, is going to result in some pretty good relationship circumstances, given that we got the wine and the playing cards and everybody already in pretty nice shape. Let's do it, dude. Feeling a lot more confident. But we do still need to take on a lair boss. So I'm not quite out of the woods. In fact, might be going into the, the fire woods. Is lit. The table is set. The inn awaits its favorite guests. Lazy eye. For our highwayman, that sucks. Couple more mastery points, though. Everywhere in ruin. Hmm. Everywhere in need. Ooh, definitely going with a feeder here. Triple academic studies get the chance to run into that powered up shambler, baby. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. I'm gonna fix this guy up. We've got no almanac for this region, so we'll just take. I think we'll take the medicine chest. Experimentation. Well, your academic instincts serve you well. I would take these things along with. That honestly, I think I can just get rid of this stuff now. I don't know why I've been thinking I was gonna use those later. We don't need any either of those either. No thanks. Spend what you can, or wealth no longer has meaning. God damn it! If indeed it ever did. I had enough. I need to look at the provisioner before I repair, dude. Ugh, that sucks. Oh well. I think I probably still would have done, still would have done repairs anyway, so not a huge deal. Get these songbooks. And that's our money. Okay. Outstanding. She's still ascetic, so. Let's do Highwayman Vestal with these. Let's do Highwayman Vestal with these. Ooh, baby. I like that. Wow. Max affinity for everyone with the Highwayman. Max affinity for everyone with the Vestal. Runaway Hellion remains. 
Let's get them nice and wasted. Start with the wine, then move into the whiskey. And that is actually just guaranteed outside of the possibility of Resolute showing up, I guess, to bring these two up to max affinity as well. That's pretty great. That makes me a happy bear. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. We're going to use these skills quite a bit, so go ahead and upgrade those two. I'm tempted to upgrade Breakthrough, dude. We're actually using it. I can't believe it. Judgment seems worthwhile. Firefly seems worthwhile. Hmm. Yeah, probably Divine Comfort here. It's the safest play. Man, this feels good. This makes me optimistic. Let's go kill a Harvest Child and... Finish strong here, man. Woo! Love that. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. That looks good to me. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Respectful, hopeful, amorous. While the heart still beats, desire will never die. Wicked Hack Dodge Plus, Duelist Advanced Strength Token. If it bleeds, heals stress along with ministrations, illumination, and take aim. Divine Grace will add a Dodge Plus. Firefly will add a Strength Token. Barbaric Yop removes DOT. Run and Hide will heal 10% for the Hellion. And the Pistol Shot will add a Dodge Plus to the Runaway. Wow! That's pretty good. Great hits. The Arguably the greatest hits. And abhorrent. And that is a pretty clear path to start off with here. Although I'm not going to lie, if I happen to see the Shambler in any of those academic studies, probably going to want to go get that. But, but no luck. Not a Shambler in the bunch. I'm looking to visit an oasis for the region goal. I'm not super stoked about that. Although we might be able to do it. Yeah, you know what? That might be the path. We'll see. For now, let's focus on clearing that lair. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, if we could preserve the relationships from run to run. I'd probably be a little overpowered, as it is often easier to maintain the relationships when they're already good. I've not unlocked Grape Shot Blast yet, no, so... I want to try to uh, find a shrine here if I can. I suppose getting to the Watchtower is really just going to be a matter of chance again. Just got to cross our fingers. All in on the prediction. Love to see it. I'm feeling pretty confident. I can see you feel the same. It is lair time. Banana. Do have anti-venom and herbs. Toxic ichor, not super good for this, but it is helpful, at least. Especially if we have a, an incendiary cocktail along for the ride. I think I might actually use two of these just because we'll only well I guess we could arguably bring out four of them for the final fight, although I doubt that's gonna be the case. This seems right. This seems like an appropriate use of that. Let's do it. This should be the biggest test so far by a long shot. The landowner's manner. Do you hear the child's cries? That's a very strong starting move. It makes me happy. And seven burn for five turns. Good God. This is looking good for me. I 
think actually with the upgraded Consecration here, we might want to consider putting that on rank two. Because if we give the Hellion strength and crit, that plus breakthrough equals possibly a ton of value. And then, of course, the Duelist Advance is made a lot better that way as well. 10 to 18 without Take even the full power judgment. And do not relent. That's pretty sick. Stress heal off the crit. Brilliant. And another miss. Holy shit, dude. Triple winded combo bleed out. Still nearly enough to take this guy down. That is sick. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. I'm very happy with this right now. And another stress point heal. Keep it going. tank here this time around. Sturdy enemy is going to add plus 25% max HP and some move resist. Let's try this. See how effective this can be. Because even with the Consecration of Light up front, we're not going to be able to point blank shot this lady to death. Oh no. 15% chance to be weak and unround start. That sucks. What lurks in the beyond. That's clearly terrible. Stress heal there, at least. Yeah, it works. Oh, yeah, we can still break through, or break through from there as well. Or she can do that. All right, all fixed. Well, I guess I'm pro prohibiting myself from getting another token that way, aren't I? I should do that, too. We can start getting some more. Uh, what's it called? What the heck is that called? What is the name of that token she generates? I've completely forgotten. Ah, oh, it's gonna bug me. Damn it. Do I have to look at the glossary? I do. Conviction. That's the one. I don't think I would have ever known. The fiend's strength dwindles. I should have forced myself to really try, though. Eventually, I would have gotten there. I got enough belief in myself. Two damage on the crit. What the hell? All oh, right, yeah, he's got his debuff to melee skills. Um, eh, that does still seem best. I mean, those tokens alone. Good God. Boom! Regen time. And smoke screen. Eh, let's get more DOT. Stupendous. Or not. Man, that resistance chance was real low. That's unfortunate. This is getting back to the speed we've been used to up to this point. But again, it is still going really, really well for us, all things considered. Goodness, that weakened token, huh? Oh, it's not going to get rid of that, right? The rot. We must now rid ourselves of. Maybe I do need to be using the point blank a little more often. Kill her, I guess. I like the that play. Continues. Yeah, I was going to use the rogue and then elected to go for the sharp shot under the impression that we would be unlocking the uh, unlocking the grape shot blast early on, but apparently that's still got a ways to go. A simple variable, easily resolved. This is silly. Silly, silly bear. 
All right. Despite the fact that this has clearly been a suboptimal fight for us, we're still in fantastic shape. We're basically untouched, actually. This is... Despite the difficulties, going extremely well. God, the tokens from that alone are awesome. 15 damage judgment, too. Stun, blinded, weakened, dead. Done deal, dude. Unsteady stances. Mm. Exhaustion takes hold. In a daze, why not? The other D word. All right. Moment of truth, man. Curing Kappa. That's fun. Ghastly Gruel, not bad either. And the Harvest Bounty returns. So be it. I guess I'd prefer that to the bumper crop. Born to a corpulent, half-eaten mother, the child is a ravenous avatar of degeneracy. No, I don't believe there's a punishment for prolonging the fight anymore. Okay. Gotta get the burn going. That'll do it. All right, there's 35 damage immediately. Any being, however horrid, can be brought to heal. Further lower its debuff resist. Is it possible we can maybe... I guess I could do this. And then move the Vestal forward. That would be kind of silly, though. I think I should probably just go ahead and Consecration up front. I'm just going to have to get a little lucky with the Putrid Meat for a while. I don't think the baby has a pull forward, does it? I think maybe that skill that we just saw might do that, but... Oh, that's okay. Interesting. Yeah. Lost the relationship, Pip. Damn it. Uh, yeah, we should probably just go ahead and do this. And then do exactly the uh, plan I was going to go for of Ethereal Dust into Consecration on the other two ranks as well. Which I think ought to be pretty damn good here. Let's go ahead and go for the burn. And another burn. There we go, 19 for three, not too shabby. Zero damage from that hit, that's hilarious. All right, gotta pay attention to the Highwayman situation here. Okay, I don't think that has a move. I think it was confused. Antivenom seems pretty good. Wasted crit though, yeah, that wasn't great. Um, let's take aim then. I think that'll be better anyway. Nice. Unfortunate. That's okay, though. Don't need to cauterize yet. Runaway's burn has been hard carrying this fight. Measured and steady. I like regen here, too. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to use the ethereal dust. Even if I don't, I don't really mind it. Burn is mostly gone now. Get another pip, unfortunately. Probably cauterize time. Especially with the... Eh, fuck it. A miscalculation, perhaps. The burn is all that's working here, so might as well go on in on that, right? Yep, that's working. Bye-bye, buddy. Good job, squad. Burn Nana. Very good. Very good. All right. Ghastly Gruel. Probably going to go ahead and pop that on our runaway here. Additional healing given from the Cauterize. Pig Sticker, obviously, not getting a lot of value for us. Kappa. Probably not bad on our Highway Man. Then we can go ahead and do something like that. Get rid of these guys and this guy and that guy and that guy. And there we go. Bye. Moving on. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's go Oasis. Why the hell not? Let him get our shields back. That'd be nice. I stand by baby being the easiest 
certainly between her, her it and the general. That's pretty clear to me. Yeah, all right. Let me get the taunt up here anyway. There we go. Is that a dodge plus? I'll take it. That's sort of how I feel too, unfortunately, inverted. Uh, despite the fact that uh, the general might be the easiest, he is one of the least appealing to fight. It's just a boring battle for the most part. Kind of forces your hand. Although we have had limited success going what we call nightmare mode a brilliant conclusion. with the general fight. Just completely ignoring the tap root and going all in on the damage and then dealing with the effects. I do think you need a pretty goddamn strong team for that, though. Owie. I might be a cauterize, I actually should. Get some immediate value out of our new trinket here. I'm under the impression that every boss can be terrifying when not taken seriously. Probably not wrong. Yeah, every every one of them can kick your teeth in if you're not careful. How's the heal looking here? 17. Nice. This wound at least has been tended to. Solid. Yeah, let's cut through here. No, let's just yap again. Oh, I'm with you on that, no doubt. Yeah, Leviathan's still far and away the scariest. Dodge plus. Welcome to deliberate and That's definitely the way to go, Poodle. Yeah, if you can get yourself some... Uh, if you can get yourself some combat items that target the root definitely makes the uh, process a lot easier. Eldritch J. Show him some love with the bear hugs, please. Stupendous. Welcome to the pile. Appreciate it. The prime sub. Good old tactical thinker. How judgments Vestal, or how did Vestal's judgment do so much damage? It's honestly a great question. Without critting, what is adding to her damage? I thought I knew, but I don't. Did we do something? She does appear to be hitting surprisingly hard, but not all the time. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Huh. Eh, let's see here. No revelry. Still doing zero, so. And that was only one stack of conviction, I want to say, on the judge. Although, I, I, again, I know that judgment gets powered up, but it just feels like it's a little more than it typically is. I guess I'm just not good at math. Okay. No more cauterize. What does Hemic Rot do? It's a 15% chance on round start to generate a weaken. Deadly is just a crit chance buff. It doesn't actually impact the amount of damage the skill does. Or the, the hero. Nice. Mastery looking pretty damn good at this point. Each individual one's still pretty nice, but they're definitely not nearly as critical at this point. I think I'm pretty happy with our endgame combat items here, too. There's 
the wheels restored. Yeah, I could go for that. Full torchlight, looking good. An elementary problem, is it not? Let's hit that oasis. Wheels immediately destroyed again. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go the route that I can see the most of, that being that of the uh, studies we've scouted already. Good to have you, Ness. Yeah, I'll take it. Worth it. An unexpected find. I almost hit leave, though. There you go. There you go. You know, actually, I could save those two. Those are good endgame items since I don't have anything particularly good besides the dust. Though decidedly inconvenient, at least we know what's coming. Another vintage collection is outstanding. If we were worried about the relationships, we are not anymore. The lost souls of a dying world, empty of hope and humanity. Combat has been incredibly easy. On to the next. Really simple fight so far. I guess it could be some blood, huh? Is it either the blood or the wine from those places? I thought it was... I thought those were two separate ones, actually. I think it might be... The collection, I'm pretty sure, is the wine, and I think the blood is something else. I guess we'll find out. This dude's already dead. That's outstanding. Bleed, beautiful. Yeah, give me these fights all day, dude. There you go. Favorite flagellant path, Bear. I've definitely been using the Scourge the most, it feels like. I'm pretty happy with that one. I want to try Maniac a little bit more, though. I think that could be a good time, too. Any stress healing coming from this stuff? No, not this time. All right. Just shout at him. Just keep screaming. Just keep screaming. Just keep streaming. In this weighty gloom, a spark. Those are actually two relics, Wayne, but it's easy to confuse them. A permissible mistake, but don't let it happen again. Let's see what we get. The longer our journey, the less picky I get. This does appear to be the blood. Which is honestly way more exciting. Because we are doing pretty well with the relationships already. I don't think we really need a ton of help in that regard. So that's fine with me. Myriad options require careful deliberation. And to the right, so we can go to this other study, another assistance encounter. Love to see that. And we certainly First, don't need the rotten flesh of a lot animals. more help here. Then still hungry they turned upon themselves region goal complete hospital would be more than welcome here along with maybe another hero shrine in fact i should probably take a chance on there being a hero shrine among these mysteries i think i just realized oh the scouting there we go that'll help okay Interesting. Obviously, the uh, loathing is worth considering here, too. In fact, I think we might have to go right just to uh, avoid further loathing. We can also go left. Left to the Hero Shrine, then that study, and then a cache, which actually looks pretty good. Sadly, that would likely be another loathing trigger. And I think we'll have to go to the creature den. That works. Yeah, Den could give us something nice. 
usually at least slightly helpful result from that. Stumbling and grasping shadows of what they once were. Mm-hmm. More zombos. Yeah, we had we had one option to the left that I believe would have allowed us to avoid maxing out the loathing again, but this just seems a little better. We'll be fine. Not really a lot of need for that, but oh well. I'm starting to come around to Wanderer Paths just because you can get so much flexibility and let the trinkets decide your build. True. Yeah, honestly, like, Wanderer is great for Vestal. I'm usually tempted to go that route with this character, in fact. As the uh, automatic generation of conviction is pretty freaking good. Eh, just do that. Man, the blight off of that makes me really wish I had the chance to get the grape shot, but oh well. I think I should probably go ahead and actually put the Curing Cup on our Hellion if we have a slot for it, but I don't think we do. Yeah, she's not really looking to do that right now. Let's do that, though. That'll do. Smoke screen. You love the Chaplain Illumination too much? That's definitely a skill I... Stumbling and stupefied. I do not use enough. In fact, I lump that in pretty comfortably with, like, hearth light and tracking shot in skills that are probably better than I give them credit for. And methodical appliance of heart. But are still not ever really going to get a lot of use from me. Okay, let's just go ahead and take aim here. Get rid of more stress that way. Consecration again? No, I think we can do the old judgment on the block. Hefty burn already. Steady Yikes. Yourself. That sucks. Good lord. Eight stress. Rotten tomato immobilize. All right. Pistol shot. Days here. Is this worth? Probably. Bravo. Nice. That'll do. No further stress healing possible. Just bring him to death's door. Hoorah. Let her get the kill. That'll probably make, a make her feel the better, right? application of violence yields morbid gains. She might be stressed still, but at least she got a death blow. I might be able to use that, actually. Get another mastery point, too. That's awesome. Sharpness charm on anybody? I think I'd rather do this. Give her her max HP back. Yeah, I like it. And then don't need the herbs, don't need the salve. Probably not going to use these in the end game, so we'll go ahead and use this for some stress healing here. Okay. Loathing, far and away the biggest concern, so. Sharpen your blades that we may properly excise our portion. Ideally. No cause for alarm there. The remainder of this region. That'll be tomorrow, fat guy. I had to download and edit the uh, big old gap of getting the fridge repaired out of that VOD, so. Should be up bright and early. Ooh, that's great. Thank you. Calculation, perhaps. Got rid of the rot and replaced it with rabies. Not bad at all. And yop time. All right, let's use our thunderclap. Pretty fantastic. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Another spring water here. Let's go ahead and take aim. Even more stress healed. Feeling much better all of a sudden. Might as well glimmer as well. Consecration in second rank, sure. 
Only in Darkest Dungeon can one get rabies and claim, hey, not bad. Could be worse, right? I mean, that's a an unrealistic, if not, or sorry, it's a optimistic, if not unrealistic outlook in real life, too. We got rabies, but it could be worse. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Ooh, that's a great point, Lewis. Yeah, we do need to focus on getting some creature kills with the Vestal. Thankfully, we only need one more, and there it is. Oh, never mind. That's a burn kill. God damn it. Hey, double blind here, though, from the bright light. Hell yeah. Thank you. I hope to get rabies to cure my worries. Not wrong. Wow, okay. You go, girl. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. All right, it seems incredibly unlikely that I don't get at least one more from something here at some point. But I might as well fully charge the judgment to make that even more likely. Rotten tomato, dude. Not bad. Bye bye, wolf pal. A simple variable. Easily resolved. Get another stress healed. No stun that time. Fantastic. Let's go for a cauterize just to top him off. Let her finish the job. There we go. Crit for 30. Jesus. That should do it. Spring water. Yeah, let's go for that up here. A little yop action. Good shit. Looking good. Hmm. Keep on duelists here, right? Yeah. That'll do it. The fiend's strength dwindles. Tokens, pips, and combo hits. It's the name of my darkest dungeon book. It's one page long, and you open it up, and it just says overconfidence is a blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't even finish the quote. It literally says blah, blah, blah. 15 bucks available now. Wherever you purchase fine literature. Wow, Bear, what a deal. Overconfidence is yada, yada, yada. Yeah, there you go. I don't watch Shuffle stuff, but that's not out of a lack of interest, Pancakes. It's more that if I were to consume Darkest Dungeon content on top of creating the amount that I do, I think I might lose my mind. Having said that, I do think Shuffle is an excellent Darkest Dungeon creator. Content creator. Measured and steady. Yo! A petty hindrance. We are stress healing quite well here. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. You did? Getting through the dodge plus these MFers. So freaking be it. Ah, no breakthrough this time. All right, we can do a revelry for the road, though. Let's do this. There is comfort in company. Get a pib out of it. Nice. Get a Mr. Pib out of it. Breakthrough time? Ah, oh, that can't hit the fourth rank. That's right. Silly bear. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Well, one more stress heal, at least. That's pretty terrific, man. Great shape to end up in. Here's our final glimmer. Say goodbye. Hero goal complete. Bonus candles. Hell yeah. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. Discounted trinkets might be worthwhile. We'll see. The loathing 
abates. So I'm pretty certain, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to meet the one for the uh, Hellion. Yeah, obviously, zero out of eight fanatics. That would have been the Sprawl, I, I assume. But we'd find those guys. I guess we don't need those, do we? But I do have slots. Might as well fill them up. Okay. Last of our wheels. Mind your wheels. They have nothing left to give. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go for the cash here. One last little bit of greed. Let's see if we can find some more combat items. Eh, alright. Not useless, I guess. Carefully. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. Greed! Shouldn't be a problem. A couple of loathing tears. Keep the plating. Totally gonna be worth it. Right, game? Give us a whiskey barrel here. Right, game? Or a big pig, even. Eh. Pull this is nice. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Dump it, dump it, dump it. Don't need a second stack of flapjacks. Don't need this ring. I probably don't need this either. There we go. Cool. And the exemplar remains. Oh, snap! Did we resist both of those loathings? That's awesome. And more flapjacks in celebration. Okay. Well, I'm good. Let's do it. Let's replace that, actually. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Hit it. Let's make it happen. Push this half-made horror back into the void. What's the difference between flapjacks and pancakes for a European? Uh, approximately four letters. Burn resist? That's not cool, dude. I prefer you didn't do that. Okay. Yikes. There you go. I feel better? I think we'll probably just allow her to melt down here. Oh my god, remove DOT from that. I didn't even think about that. That's awesome. Consecration of Light on rank 1 is probably the way to go this time. I'm going to try to point blank as much as possible here. Good lord, the rabies blind. That sucks. I guess I could just... No, we got a crit from that. All right, I got to go for it. Fucking hell. Really unfortunate. Um, no value there. I think I got to keep going for burn despite his resistance. But the smoke screen is very, very good. All right. Zero damage so far. Crit bleed? Okay. Yeah, the giant stress heal. Oh, yeah, that went pretty well. Okay. Let's use that. Coming. You may outwit them yet. I bet I can kill this thing before it's able to be sacrificed. Let's do exactly that. Messy, but effective. Nice. Now we try to burn. With the dodge plus, brilliant, okay. This is absolutely going our way here bleed, but that's alright. I can regen here. That's totally doable. Take aim again? Get some bear hugs for the Raven Blues? 
Grab a coffee on me, will do. I'm, I'm about to go get me a refill. Actually, I think it's past coffee time, and I think it's almost socially acceptable time for me to have a white Russian, which I'm pretty sure is actually what I'm gonna do. That's been my, my go-to lately, man. That's a tasty beverage. Dude, it's dangerous when a, a mixed drink with that alcohol content tastes that good. I could chug those things, man. It's a problem. It's Friday, baby. That's right. The dude approves. Good to hear. Darkness encroaches. Inexorable. That is not good. With the speed token, that is going to basically force our heal here. Not a bad play, though. And we get taunt, at least. We got to get a much bigger burn going on this guy. This is incredibly unlikely that we managed to do this, but it does seem just worth attempting. Especially if we can get a strength in point blank, which, again, fairly unlikely. It resists the pull forward there, at least. Taunt on her as well. Okay. Boy. I need to cauterize here, actually. That seems like the right idea. Okay. Breakthrough? No, just take the wicked hack. And a dodge plus up front as well is pretty nice. And then a big old judgment. That'll help. That might do the job. Unless he just sacrifices her immediately. That would suck. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. Son of a bitch. Okay, I got to do that again. Got the double blind. Okay. It's pretty huge. That is enormously valuable. Okay. We'll get this boy again. Which, I don't, know, I don't think it's worth really going for him. Another miss there. Abalone PDX. A master stroke. Thanks for the prime. Welcome on into the pile. Appreciate it. Bear hugs, please. Thank you for the support. That's a stun chance. It's also a decent wicked hack. I might be able to kill him here. Let's go for it. If we can get four damage from the Firefly, which is incredibly unlikely, but maybe possible? Nope. All right, shit. That's still worth. Malaise. Still worth to negate the regen. And, steady. and bring him to death's door off that. Oh, and the Blight off of Kappa. Wow, okay, that's huge. There's a death's door check, and he's on death's door with DOT. Get him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. You got this, fella. Wicked slice. There it is. Booyah. An opportunity. Squandered. A little revelry to round things out. A little stress heal for the squad. Dodge cleared. Job done. Oh boy, is she really gonna be chancing the frickin' meltdown right at the end again here? No stress heal's available, but does add a dodge plus to her at least and then yeah whatever there we go take heart and do not relent good stuff cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption that i cannot imagine i'm not equipping that one plus 50 percent damage significant costs of hp but pretty sure that's going to be worth it 
might even go ahead and throw that on the Vestal. Oh my god. He's insane. That's gonna give us some big time judgment hits, dude. And let's add a plus 10% crit chance to our runaway. And that feels good to me. I don't think I need steel plating either. Sweet. I think this team can do it. I wasn't sure. But I'm feeling a lot better now. Especially with these relationships. The diseases do give me pause, but I think we'll be all right. We would come here in summers of years gone to write, think, and rest. Sadly, they're robust. A little late. As is that, obviously. Thanks. A little stress healing as soon as we get in here. Nice. Let's get some playing cards going. Okay. Let's get them their food. And hit the mountain. The inevitable end of your journey awaits you once again. Obviously don't need the flapjacks anymore. There we go. Frigid wind wails through desolate canyons. A eulogy to the sane world. Make sure that we don't want to get anything from here first, and that does not look like that's the, or it doesn't look like we do. I'll pick up the songbook. Go ahead and get those repairs. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. A couple more sets of playing cards while those are good. You know, theoretically. Honestly, Songbook isn't even all that great here, but... <laughs> yeah, that really wasn't worth it. Oh, well. Uh, we need whiskey still. Conventional fare. Priced. Poetry actually pretty damn good here, too. And probably just going to get the poultices after that, yeah. You two... I might just need this for the stress healing anyway, but it is you two that we need to work on the most. Conveniently. Okay. We're at, we're at very friendly for everyone. So I just want to make sure I'm utilizing these things as effectively as possible. I think... Do we have one more pip that we can get from something? No? Really? Ah, oh, that stinks. Extremely close to max affinity. The thing is, we might be able to get it if we get one of the whiskey flasks to do a plus two. Let's see if that happens. No luck. All right, might as well get the max affinity then. So be it. Obviously using the Holy Hymnal here. Stimulating Poultice is probably good for her as well. I think I want to use it on the Highwayman, though. Yeah, that sounds right. I think I might even just need to accept that she's going to be acting last for the most part. Oh, wait, no, the speed on the Hellion would have been better. That's still good, too, though. Nine speed on her is pretty nice. Give her the restorative herbs, give her the burn resist, the holy beads, which might actually add more speed, but not that time. Fix her up with the stitching kit, and poultices. Oh, we have more poultices. Right, I forgot. There we go. 13 speed, even better. She might even be uh, acting before the eye stalks, and I just realized we have the Book of Creative Insults here as well, which is probably top priority. Let's get that, and let's get more crit chance. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. And that ought to be pretty damn good. I probably shouldn't have given the whetstone to her, but that's okay. Mastery time. One learns quickly when survival demands it. You get a stun off combo for the pistol shot, so that seems worth it right away. Do want to do take aim here as well? We have been using that enough. Might be breakthrough time. Bleed out has gotten a lot of value as well. I don't think I need Divine Grace. Cauterize? I want to be safer. 
Controlled burn might get some use here. I think it will, in fact. But I do give up the additional burn from Orphan's rank. I don't know, actually. Maybe I keep her in rank four. Yeah, I probably do. I'll take the additional Death's Door Piercing for Wicked Slice, although that's not going to matter, I guess, for the final fight, so maybe we don't. Hmm. I think I want Wicked Hack, actually. And Bleed Out. Yeah, let's give her a little bit more effectiveness and maybe even Breakthrough as well. Cannot gain block. That's pretty good. That even helps against the fall. Let's do it. Upgraded breakthrough. He's a freaking madman. A little bit of stress for the robe. That's okay. Because we got barrel rolls, baby. Kryptonite to any... Well, really, really any source of doubt, period. I think it's time to go, man. Some pretty decent in-game combat items. Relationships looking fantastic. Bear rolls. Ready to deploy. Let's see what we get. I like it. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. And most likely preserving the majority of our relationships here. Unites the hopeful. So we should probably expect to see a lot of similar outcomes. While the heart still beats, desire will never die. I saw a breakthrough buff. Removes DOT. Duelist advance adds a strength token. Cauterize with the dodge plus. Run and hide will remove DOT. Judgment adds a strength. Consecration of Fortitude Stress Heals, Tracking Shot Stress Heals, Rockets Revelry Stress Heals, Hand of Light Stress Heals, Wicked Hack Strength Token, and Highway Robbery. Lad Strength. Bear roll to victory. The Focused Fault once more stands between us and that elusive W. At last, the Great Ziggurat. Temple of Failure and Regret. But I believe this team more than capable of the task. Hero goals. No longer a factor. Combat items, we basically need to preserve everything we've got till the very end. We can pop those smelling salts, but everything else has got a lot of final boss value for sure. That blood, in fact, probably going to be pretty critical for us. Create some big old point blank shots. I'm done running. Not ordained. Deacon gonna be in a little trouble here. Let's uh, go ahead and start with a take aim. And that makes me want to consecrate the second rank for sure. I'm a rare breed of people that liked the old Act 3 boss. I've never had a problem with it. Like... It's been such a divisive thing, and it's weird to me because I've been fine with it in basically every form it's taken. I think I preferred the initial early access version, like before it ever got changed. Lethality writ large. Goodness, that block plus doing work. But every iteration of it since then has been fine, in my opinion. That was a fun move. Burn up front. Really not ideal there. Boy, they are getting lucky. Getting through the dodge plus every freaking time here. Come on now. Get rid of one more block plus at least. Sadly, the worship looking incredibly likely here. Yeah, not a lot we could do about that. Mm hmm. The taunt, of course, gonna stop any chance of getting back to him again. I might just have to let the burn do the job there, though. Can we get a crit breakthrough. Sure. Well done. How the heck not? Oh, another taunt. That's why. 
slow suffering begins. Blind off the kappa at least. Probably gonna need a little bit of stress heal in there. Or not. Ah, fuck me. They're making this a problem. Oh, that ought to do it. There we go. That feels better. Max out our relationship for fun. That's fine. We do get another smoke screen opportunity on the big boy here, and he isn't ordained, so... Oh, never mind, shit. Yeah, I guess that works. This wound at least has been tended to. Dodge, plus, stress heal. That was actually pretty damn good, too. 13 damage, wicked hack. Goodness. There we go, there we go. A couple of dodge pluses for them, damn, okay. All right, all right. He finally gets his point blank off. That'll work. Knocked back, blinded. That feels better. That's door as well. Yeah, for her to still be able to deal that much damage in her state is absurd. But I freaking love it. I do not want to get stunned. All right, well, I don't think I need the regen here. Let's just go ahead and consecrate. I'm getting her an empowered judgment in a moment. Let's do this again. Goodbye. All right. Yet again, just a matter of time with these guys. It's been slow, but it's been good. That's been consistent through the whole run. Weakened? No bleed either. Nice. Let's regen first. All right. Excellent work. Yeah, we are feeling fine here for sure. Death's door for the boy. Any further stress healing from anything here? Nope. All right. That'll do. There's no more stress, buddy. That's all I'm asking. That's all we need from you. And, there, and then there was one. And then another one. And then there was the W. And then there were barrel rolls? Seems like a safe bet. Thank goodness we have these Behold, bonus flapjacks. The infinite emptiness of the void. I'll do my own barrel rolls then. There they are. Knew they were coming. Still yelling. Still shouting. I'm still shooting. I'm still getting the headshots. It's like, boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Nice. Not ordained. None ordained? What the hell? That's, uh, that's going to make this a little easier. Okay. Another knockback combo applied. Five to eight damage still. From the wicked hack. Like mock truck. Oh, God. That was not the target I wanted. 77 months. That's a lucky sub. Thank you very much, or thank you very much for the resubscription. Thank you for the bear hugs for him. Welcome back. See how she feels about that. I imagine pretty good. The burn is nearly enough there. Good lord. Half its HP that way, and then let's see if I can get lucky on the uh, dodge here. Yes, indeed. Goodbye, altar. An unavoidable end. Strength, combo, 
triple winded, eight to thirteen. A wash in turmoil. That might be a worship, though. No, okay. She can totally stress heal this. I think we're gonna be okay. Goodbye. Let's see here. Smoke screen again. Outstanding. Wow. Hoorah. This is really great. I'm pretty sure we're even going to be able to... Uh, First of all, stun this guy. Wow. Stall for yet another raucous revelry here. We'll bring ourselves down to four total stress-ish. Full HP for the final fight. Blinded, weakened, nothing to worry about, man. Ain't no thang. Have a couple more while you're at it. Get a combo going. Sounds like fun. Wow, yeah, that is remarkably good. Goodbye. Good stuff. Very good stuff, in fact. Outstanding result. And here we go, dude. Blood replacing the smelling salts. We are ready for action. Keep the pancakes, dump the rest. We in there, dude. Final skill check. I think we... I think we leave things as is. I think we're set. Let's get that W. Behold. The source of the stain. Gateway to incomprehensible emptiness. I think you've sold me on carcass. Just you wait, buddy. You ain't even seen the half of it yet. This is the whole point right here is bringing the carcass for this fight. That's much different. Okay. I'm going to assume Taunt is still valuable. Let's just take aim here, too, I guess. Do they go down now? A renewal. Welcome. Weird. Practice waffle. Events. There's the mark. Okay. Glower. I don't know if that's how you even say that. Uh hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. This this is weird. I guess we can do this. Hmm. Enemies will focus this hero. Yeah, that's the same. I guess I can do that. Oh, we do need... I think we need to... What? What do, what do I do to get rid of the mark on him, then? If it's not... This is very confusing. Let me get this strength token out of this, I guess. A brilliant conclusion. Huh. Honestly, if it's just those two with the marks anyway, that's probably fine. That might even be ideal for us. So he's got his take aim dodge to rely on. I do think that I want to keep doing this just to see whether or not 
it's even... Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, I thought it was transforming for a second there. Okay, that's clearly not good. This is so weird. I'm so confused by how this is going down. Like, I don't even know what to do to transform him right now. I have no idea. Regen seems good. It definitely does not feel like it is going to advance until I do something, until I meet some, as of now, undetermined criteria. Um... Well, that's good, at least. We got the other mark on the Hellion. to really like because these aren't even these aren't even showing you which of the eye stocks applied the mark anymore which leads me to believe that it doesn't matter which one you kill but then like can you manipulate it at all if that's the case I don't think you can Very confused. I guess I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Can get more taunt, sure. is not gonna matter. Wait, she got another one. And this transforms now? Back to the full size? Okay. Yeah, you've made that abundantly clear, Gira. Uh, okay, let's do this. I think this is working, but I... Obviously have not a lot to base that on. This might be... Nope, that ain't enough. Alright, just keep getting tokens, I guess. I think it's going good. But then they keep transforming. That's one down, maybe? Nope, he's back up. And he got rid of his blight because he didn't want it. And I got a minimum damage hit. An interminable conflict. Hmm. A good dodge at least, okay. I'm not gonna hit with that one. I guess it's revelry time. I think that's another s I think she can be yeah, she's ha she has four scene tokens now. There's a total of six. Which obviously seems bad. And they just keep regrowing. And they didn't combo the burn because of the transform. There are, there are a lot of messy interactions with that. Please stop hitting for minimum. 
This is extremely confusing. I'm not sure I like this. I'm pretty sure I don't like this, actually. Which is hilarious, because I just got done explaining how every version of this fight before this I've been totally fine with. This is just confusing as hell. Hmm. <laughs> the token just states that they didn't reply to your texts. Plus two. Plus two unseen texts. Okay. Okay, so this one's not coming back, at least. But now she's got another goddamn symbol. What the fuck, dude? This sucks. The, no, this actually, this just sucks now. This is incredibly annoying. I greatly dislike this fight all of a sudden. Very unhappy with this. It's incredibly tedious. Like, you don't even need to know that much about it to know that this phase is tedious and not fun. Yeah, I'm not looking for the solution here. I'm just venting. Yeah, yeah, all right. Sure. Nah, I don't think it's your inebriation at all, Drew. I'm pretty sure this is just confusing as hell. Lead down at least, okay. I can land this burn. That works. I think half the reason it's confusing is knowing the old boss. It's beginning to seem like I'm meant to take them down as quickly as possible now. Yeah, which is not really at all what it used to be. Which I can't, like, I can't be mad that it's not the same fight anymore, obviously. But if this new version of it is considerably worse, then I can be a little upset about that, yeah. Okay, so this does seem to be... Kill them as quickly as you can before they apply these marks. And obviously... This is a terrible situation now as a result of us not having done that quickly enough. So, fuck. That sucks. Sweat soaked brows, unsteady stances. I get why it doesn't as well, but I really do wish that the um, DOT remained on these guys through their transformations. An unavoidable end. All right, well, I don't know if the stealth is really going to matter, but I feel like it's worth a try. Another strength token. All right, let's see how it goes, I guess. Obsessions on shrinking days. Focus to a fault. Can't imagine well. Okay. That's not as awful of a hit as I expected. Let's go ahead and take aim here. He's feeling pretty good. And now, the greatest test of all. I did get a blight out of that. It's pretty nice. I think we need to do something like this. Despite that not being a crit for him. Smoke screen's not going to matter. We're just going to have to gamble on the Vestal being able to survive a Death's Door hit. Got the burn. That's nice. Got lucky. 
I guess I could try this. The slow suffering begins. Yeah, it's still 12 damage. That's pretty good. Taunt isn't gonna matter. A breakthrough. Okay. And then she just has to heal. She doesn't have a choice. Although, actually, God, the regen genuinely feels like it's probably more likely to keep her alive. But yeah, this just has to be the play. There remains a foothold out of this mire. Ah, oh, the Vestal's fucking dead, now dude. There's climb. no way. There's no way with this kind of action economy she survives. Combo should do something at least. Let's add the blood to him again. Bleed out for a chance to bleed on him. That sucks, okay. And there's, oh, suppressed that time. Bafflement and vexation. Blinded and stunned. Yikes. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. All right, now obviously we gotta go with the divine comfort. Oh, I just realized. We can use our, uh, we can use our dust on the Divine Comfort. That's not bad. That's more dodge. I got to pray for a suppress or something here. Nope. This is no time to fall down. That's pretty lucky. Okay. Okay. Another stun though. Probably another limb rinse. Wow. That is... Incredibly lucky. Measured and steady. All right. Um. You know what? Take a gamble. Incremental. But deadly all the same. Got the burn. We'll do another regen, I guess. Fuck it. I'm probably dead. But the luck so far, yeah, has certainly been working out for us, but. Get a lot more checks. We gotta survive. This smoke screen is not even gonna help. So just gotta count on the burn that didn't land. Son of a bitch. Bye bye, Hellion. Ooh, no, the suppress still killed her. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Complication. Cool. There goes the miracle chance. Ah, boy. Resolute. Maybe she does have the bonus. He doesn't. Terrified. All right. Maybe the blind works now on this boss. That'd be unfortunate to discover now, but I guess it is probably worth a try. I want to go with this super regen, though, just for fun. Just for funsies. Might as well take aim, I guess. Haha. <laughs> We might still win. A brilliant conclusion. There's a small chance of victory remaining here. Never mind. Snuffed out. There it goes. Before her time. There goes the there goes the burn damage and the vestal. Cool. There's a crit for him. Well, now I know what to do. I guess. Pretty unfortunate that we had to learn that way. Oh boy. I don't actively dislike it anymore. I don't love it. I honestly think it was fine. Like, I, in fact, I fully believe that the original iteration of this fight was totally fine. And I've been disappointed that they've had to continue to adjust it. Find it. Like, the original version was great, in fact. Knowledge and experience. Twin yardsticks of progress. It took a minute to decipher, but once you realize what was going on, you just gotta focus on the taunt and like was that not enough? Was it too easy when they changed it the first time? Or were people complaining that it was too difficult when they changed it the first time? Because I do not believe that that was the case. Now it's just a damage check. Yeah, that's... Eh. Push ahead. Beyond the reach of this tenebrous malignity. 
I'm disappointed, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it just needs another couple of goes, and maybe I'll feel different about it. Anyway, I suppose we might as well get our final statistical benefits right. Not to mention the uh, signature in items could be pretty good for these guys. Do we have anything left to unlock in the working fields? Spare a thought for tools of iron. A few stagecoach items. Such implements will serve us well. I do want to get to the next infernal flame as well. Ooh, stew pot. That's outstanding. Study the winding roads and routes of our kingdom. Mm. Find any advantage. Plus 100% enemy advantage chance. No heal between fights and lairs. An additional monster death's door resistance. That sounds terrible. Let's get it. To recall a thing is to make it real once more. In one single skin. Sweet. Once more into the maelstrom. That'll work. In search of what hope yet remains. All right, y'all. It is time for me to take off. Uh, we'll wrap up our day a little early here. I, I, Truth be told, my dear sweet mother is here. In fact, I'm going to have her come say hi real quick. I'll even include it in the YouTube VOD for you extra special. I didn't close the video right after he completed the Altar of Hope viewers. This is for you. He's pretty excited, too. My wonderful mother is here helping us out again, because like I mentioned, we're trying to move as soon as we possibly can. So she's here helping us do that. Uh, yeah, I, Hi. I, I look my very best she's right now. She's at her best. <laughs> I've been Hello. out in the hot garage. <laughs> Everybody say hi, bear mom. Or hi, mama bear's bear. mom or mama oh, bear. Mama okay. bear, right. Yeah, that's hi. way better. I don't know why I didn't think to do bear that. Mom is Mama Bear. Yeah, hey guys. What game did you do today? Darkest Dungeon 2. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good one. It is a good game, I agree. Like I'm glad I you would, think it's like a good I video. No, she, she knows. To play it, but you know. She's a real gamer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Billy is getting all the loving. Yes, she's very needy. Billy! <laughs> you said she was uh, um, anxious? She's not really Called anxious. Her an anxious. She's, she's just needy. Like, yeah. She just wants you to. Touch her if you're around her. her, she needs you to be right. showing her some love. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> She's a cutie. <laughs> a little old lady. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go do what I probably should have been doing all morning and uh, go help out with the house stuff. Yeah, we're gonna get get busy. Yeah. Got to get going. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you Bye, tomorrow everyone. or not tomorrow. I'll see you on Tuesday because I got to do this stuff tomorrow too. So I'll see you <laughs> after the weekend.